today we are going to talk about linear perspective and we're going to start with one point perspective. Now you can see here um, I have a very sharp pencil, either a regular number two pencil or any of your sharpened um, drawing pencils in the H range. You're going to need your metal ruler and your erasers. Um, I like to also have a clean dry paintbrush around. I've already done this, but you're going to begin by um, orienting your paper in the landscape orientation and drawing a line in the bottom third. So that's just lining up your ruler and drawing a straight line parallel to the bottom of the page. That line is going to become your horizon line. So horizon line is a vocabulary term for perspective, linear perspective drawing. And then I would like you to draw a rectangle up here and a rectangle intersecting the horizon line. So do the best you can to make them, you know, good 90 degree angle rectangles. And you can pause the video and go ahead and do that now. Um, and then we'll continue. So one of your rectangles is going to be sort of floating in the sky and one of them is going to be bisecting your horizon line. Incidentally, the horizon line is um, indicating where earth meets sky um, or water meets sky. And it, just by drawing that line, you get that sense of that already. So um, you've drawn your horizon line and um, you have one object sitting on it and one above it. Um, the horizon line is more or less thought to be eye level. After you've done those, um, you're going to put a little dot on your line. And you can either put it in the far right or the far left. I'm putting mine on the far right. And that, and I'm drawing it kind of darkly so that you can see it in the video. But really, you could make that very, very light. Your, that is called your vanishing point, And your vanishing point is always on your horizon line. Um, so you have these two boxes drawn, two, two rectangles, and you're just going to we'll start with the one that's bisecting the horizon line and take the very top corner of it all the way to the horizon line with a very light pencil line. And then we'll do the same for the bottom. Just really accurately to the corner and really accurately to the center of your vanishing point. Now, I don't know if you can already kind of see that it looks as though there's a building um, coming out or like maybe a long train, a train coming out at us. And let's go ahead and put, let's go ahead and put a road, a road next to this building before we erase anything. So these lines, the road's gonna go off the page. These lines that go from the um, object to the to the vanishing point are called orthogonals. So, and most of the time we erase the ones that we don't need. Orthogonals are always going to the vanishing point. The vanishing point is always on the horizon line. And then um, we have, now I put this road there. It looks like the road is like dis disappearing. Sorry for that big noise. And then just for fun, we're going to establish the back of this building that we placed on the horizon line by drawing a perpendicular line that is parallel to this one. So it's really important that this line be parallel to this one. All of our lines that are not orthogonals are going to be perpendicular to the horizontal line um, in the case of the walls or parallel to one another in, case of, in the case of the tops and the bottoms. So once you have this, you can erase your orthogonals on the outside of the quote unquote building and erase the horizon line on the inside of the building. Now, if you have drawn in nice light pencil line, this is a pretty easy thing to do. I drew my lines kind of dark so they would show up on the video. So it's a little bit more difficult for me. Um, but 
there you have a building in one point perspective. So if you're looking at the front of the building and we see this is a long building, we see it receding behind us. So let's do a similar thing with this, this box that we have up in the sky. We're going to take, it's gonna, be, it's gonna look a little trickier. We're gonna take the corner here, the top corner and the bottom corner to the vanishing point. And you can put your ruler on either side whatever makes it easier to see. And I think it's gonna be easier for you to see if I put it on this side. And because this box is above our line of sight, we see the bottom of it. So we also have to go from this bottom opposite corner to, to the vanishing point. And now it looks like there's a box like zooming out at us, right? So it's really, we wanna establish the back of the box. It's really important that the lines to establish the back of the box that they are. These two are absolutely parallel to one another and that this one is parallel to that one another too. So I'm gonna use my ruler width because I can line it up perfectly here and then I'm, I can be absolutely sure that it's perfect. Because the thing is, is when you first do this, it's not gonna feel like it's right. It's not, it's going to feel sort of wrong. It only looks right once you've completed it. So this line in the back has to join the top line to the bottom line and it has to also be absolutely parallel to this one. And when you've taken your ruler away and erased your orthogonals, you will see that it is correct, despite the fact that when we were doing it, it felt, it feels weird. So what I'm gonna do here is do a time lapse where I'm going to populate this paper with a whole bunch of other um, one point perspective forms.